ZBrush is a powerful 3D sculpting program that is popular in film, game development, and the animation industry. However, it is known for its steep learning curve and challenging interface with complex settings. Thus, developers and programmers tend to always introduce plugins to solve some issues and improve performance or accelerate the workflow of certain tools. An example of this is Artistic Squad, a team of developers and artists that developed a bunch of interesting ZBrush plugins which will definitely help you improve your workflow. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Bus Creator, a plugin developed for ZBrush to help you create characters using interestingly enough pre-made busts that contain the head and the neck with the possibility to adjust the shape using the morph dials, while there is the possibility to create the head from scratch. And once you install the plugin, it appears at the side of ZBrush interface as a tool. And if you prefer to start from scratch, click on the Add New Bust to load the head with the neck. Now you have a shape to work with. As a start, there is a list of morph dials. You can tweak the values to adjust the head in many areas, such as the arch, the frown, the sides, etc. You know, according to your needs. And if you prefer to start with an already made bust, there are heads for females and males. And of course, with different shapes and looks. On the other hand, we have another plugin called Ear Creator. This one is needed because ears are one of the elements that have a complex shape and require some attention to be made correctly and realistically. But this will be easier if you have Ear Creator, which is a plugin that can help you add ears to your characters with the possibility of customizing them easily. So when you're ready to add an ear to your existing character in ZBrush, just click on the Add New Ear button in the plugin. And in the two panel, click on the gizmo to move and place the ear in the right position of your head's character. The good thing is that you are provided with 70 morphs to edit in 8 sections, or you can choose directly one of the 18 pre-made ears. Whether you create it from scratch or choose a pre-made ear, you can actually merge it with your existing character using Dynamesh and you can smooth it later on. In a similar vein, you also have Mouth Creator, which is a plugin to make the creation of mouths easily and fast, and you can do that with just few clicks and in a short period of time. You can add directly the mouth from the plugin by clicking the Add New Mouth button or choosing a pre made one from the 18 mouths list. And both options are editable in the morphs dials. And the good thing, there are 73 morphs to play with in 8 sections. And as usual, you can merge the mouth using Dynamesh. Still with pre made face parts, we have another plugin called Noise Creator. In a similar way to the ear and the mouth plugins, it provides the option of creating a nose from scratch or using a pre made one. And by the way, you have 84 morphs that you can edit the nose with in 9 expandable sections. And it uses the dynamic tool to merge the existing character. Now, the next plugin called Easy Brush Variation will help you sculpt your models with random variations of your strokes and alphas to get more natural looking details. It is very handy actually when it comes to sculpting objects with skin, cracks, mud, rocks, etc. You can load a base brush from the Easy Brush Variation plugin and the brush is created from the alpha. There are options that you can play around with to define the variation of the brush that you're using such as the size, intensity, and the noise. And you can set the value in the settings table. You can run the timer in the frequency variation to decide how many seconds you want for the change to be made when sculpting, which is an interesting feature. Or you can choose run once. The timer will help you change the brush every 3 seconds for example according to the size, intensity, or the noise that you set before. Or you can deactivate the timer and make the changes manually. The same principle is applied to the option of rotation and flipping. And you can also follow the same steps in the plugin to do the color variation while playing with the type of gradient. I think this is very helpful when sculpting or making variations randomly in a natural way without going back and forth with a traditional way of ZBrush between tools and settings which are spread in different places. Next we have Easy Glow, which is a ZBrush plugin developed to create glowing objects inside ZBrush with physically based rendering. 
You can choose the subtool that you want to glow as a separate object and apply a material to it while filling the rest of the subtools with their own colors and materials. Then activate the mRGB in your brush and click on the fill object in the color menu or fill mat if it uses textures. Then select the object that you want to glow from the plugin and apply a basic glow to it by choosing the subtle or the strong one. You can actually render it by pressing the render PBR or keep the render after applying button activated if your scene is not heavy. Then pick the color from the base color and add it to the glow by pressing the grab basic color. There are also line presets that you can directly apply to the object that you want to glow. Whether you want to create it from scratch or choose a preset and you can edit it in the layer section. Now, one of the most challenging aspects when working with ZBrush is the tools that are scattered everywhere. You will go through a bunch of steps and expand a few panels to set a particular value or apply a particular option. That's why export artists customize their interface. And for that particular reason, Artistic Squad introduced the Easy Toolbox plugin. With this plugin, you can have all the tools and functions that you often use in ZBrush in one single interface, with a few new options and improvements like the knife, bevel, and morph brush, in addition to other stuff. This one is really handy to make it easy to speed up your workflow and keep you organized. The next one is called Monster Eye Maker, and this one is gonna be an easy and a fast way to add monster eyes in a short period of time inside ZBrush. You can select an eye according to the kind of monster that you are working on and choose its reflection from the 20 maps that are provided with the plugin. And you can tweak it with the orientation and depth slider. The material is adjusted according to the PBR renderer which allows you to see the result in just one click from the PBR or best mode. There are actually also 140 textures that you can use depending on the kind of monster that you want. And the plugin also comes with 4 shaders that you can work with so that you can achieve the best look that you are going for. And if these settings are too much, you can apply textures to the monster's eye manually. Now, when working with alphas, there is not much that you can do to edit them inside ZBrush. However, Power Alphas is a plugin introduced by the same developers for those who want more freedom to merge their alphas and edit them without the need for Photoshop or other editing software. Basically, it is easy and simple to use, and it works by loading the brush that uses an alpha so you can flip, rotate, or crop a part of an image and shrink or blur its details in addition to borders, then send it to ZBrush. There is also the option to merge the two alphas while editing them and applying effects from 75 overlays, then previewing the results before sending them to ZBrush. There is also another handy plugin called Power Text Brush Maker, and this one is a handy plugin for easily creating text brushes inside ZBrush. You can select any font from the plugin that is editable, then click on Create and send it to ZBrush through the Z-Add, Z-Sub, RBG, or both options. And there are 25 customizable grunge effects that you can add to the text brush. Working with materials inside ZBrush can sometimes be challenging and time consuming, especially the way they are edited, saved, and restored. That's why you will probably need the Easy Materials plugins. It comes with 5 custom material patterns that allow you to store materials in an organized and a safe way while saving the default ones so they are easy to recover. Also, with this plugin called Easy Startup, you can decide how you want to start ZBrush. I mean, which examples you want to see and what functions you want to work with, then create a script without any coding. You can save and restore the backup or default setups as well, which is very interesting. Now, talking about eyes, we have a plugin called Animal Eye Maker, which helps you create and add eyes to your animals in a very easy and fast way with the ability to add textures from 128 maps for different animals. And there are 20 reflection maps that you can apply to the eye and edit. The plugin comes with the eye material and a quad shader with the PBR rendering option to help you decide immediately and finish your projects on the fly. In a similar vein, we have an add-on or a plugin called EyeMaker, which from what I can see is a plugin developed to help you as a ZBrush artist to make realistic textured eyes quickly and easily. And there are 102 materials or textures in three Squalera types that you can edit 
and 20 reflections editable maps. The plugin also comes with four shaders for PBR rendering, and the eye tool can help you tweak the size of the iris and the pupil. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in one of these scripts or plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also you can check some of the other plugins related to ZBrush in the description down below. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.